want to play with, there's always PartyPoker.com, where the world plays poker. Playing poker is the ultimate adrenaline rush, the biggest mental challenge, and a chance to prove you're the best. And this is the tournament to do just that. I'm Roxanne Siordia, and this is the PartyPoker.com European Open 3, where some of the best players from around the globe battle it out to be the champion. Welcome to the PartyPoker.com European Open 3. When the cards are dealt and the chips are stacked, everyone's all in with a chance of winning. But with only one seat at the semi-final table, competition will be fierce. Let's see who's at the table tonight. Thomas Buzzer Beal, recent runner-up in the German Open. Another German speaker, the Swiss poker star Reno Mathis. Longtime regular on the European circuit is Andrew Miles. Gut shot qualifier Nick Perso looking to start his career on a high. His middle name is Determination is Nathan Lee. But they'll all be chasing the defending champion, the Razor Ian Fraser. Here comes the cannonball run. Six players high staking their way down the steps to the table. And five of them will be hoping to knock off the defending champion because he's here. Germany's become a big part of the poker world, and there's a strong German contingent in this heat that all eyes will be pasted on. The grand doyen of this format, Ian Fraser, the defending champion winner of nearly a million dollars on these sorts of tables, and he likes to set the pace. This format, of course, calls for 100,000 in chips per player. Yellows are worth 1,000, blues are two, reds are 5K apiece. A total of 600,000 in chips on this table, and you must win them all to progress to the semis. Jesse May joined by the bookie, Anthony Hardy, who's distinguished himself on these tables, but a bit of an unlucky run playing last week, Anthony. It was unlucky last week. Um, I bumped into a big hand. I um, had queens. Dave Gre Gregory had kings. Um, all the money went in, and uh, unfortunately, I come second. Ian Fraser, defending champions on this table. You played with him before. How strong is he? <coughs> Very good player, Ian. Um, he must be the favorite going into this. Pass. Look at that, King Jack suited he folded. Pass. What's that about? <laughs> he doesn't want to play, he doesn't want to get involved early on. Raised wow. to 6,000 total. I'll tell you what, that's the Lothar Landauer school for sure. Pass. <laughs> He was scared to show the camera that King Jack suited. <laughs> what a player from Nick Perso. 6,000 with the nine deuce. Is this a uh, button play? Amazing. 20 total. Well, re raise 14,000. This is the beauty of Ian Fraser, isn't it? Yeah, he, uh, he spots a weakness <coughs> early on. <Ian. coughs> I spent a little bit of time sitting next to Ian here in the commentary box, and he's so good at picking up body language. Um, he, he, he might believe that Persos looks, looks like a statue of David <laughs> there. I mean, <laughs> the pose of the thinker. That, that may be the bluffing pose, is it? Yeah, he's trying to cover up his face, really, so he doesn't <laughs> give any emotion away. Body language doesn't always come from the face, though, does it? I mean, uh, you know, I mean, pair of fours is the kind of hand that could be you know, in terrible shape against a lot of hands, as it is. Fraser's in fantastic shape. He's in good shape, but is Perso thinking I can call this and perhaps get him off, off the hand on the flop? I think you're probably going to pass. Pass. Yeah, discretion, the better part of value there for Perso. He had one stab, but Fraser, like the wall of stone he is, just came straight over the top to win the pot. He's bluffing me, not mine. <laughs> Both, I think, as it goes. <laughs> Tell you what, Ian's cocky, but he's always right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> Perso's realised there that uh, Fraser's not a man to mix it with. No. This is how the ranking of the hands work. Bottom of the ladder is high card only. Higher than that is one pair. 
Above that on the ladder is two pairs. If two players have two pairs, it's the higher pair that counts. Three of a kind is often called a set. A straight is five cards in a row of any suits. Aces play high or low in straights. A flush, five cards of the same suit in any order. A full house is three of a kind plus a pair, and everyone's looking for that four of a kind. It's self-explanatory, but rare as a diamond. A straight flush is five cards in a row, all the same suit, and top of the pops is a royal flush, which is a straight flush, ace high. Pass. Pass. Let's hold it around to Beal now. Pass. And, uh, I don't know why he's looking at his cards. <laughs> if the first one's not an ace, Pass. I mean, do you even need to look at the second <laughs> one? <laughs> blind on blind here. And, uh... Go. Now raise. Perceau's giving a free flop. If there's one guy I wouldn't want to limp into the big blind with, it'd be Nick Purcell. He seems like he's uh mm. Oh, he's hit a straight. Andy Miles has hit the straight. How's he going to play it? Check. Oh, he's got to check it, hasn't he? Let Nick hang himself. 3,000. No friends anymore, no? Mm. Mm. Good <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> friends like you, who needs enemies? You know what I've got. Cool. I mean, uh, Andy Miles just wants to let him uh, no, Nick no, go and go and go. 3,000 bet, 3,000 called here. Oh, no, that's a disaster okay. card for Purcell. But it gives him the flush draw as well. 6,000. Well, I wonder. I, he must have a king of hearts in his oh. head. I, yeah, there's 12,000 more, unless 18 there's two. total. This is really tough stuff for Purcell. He's bet... 6,000, and uh, now Andy Miles' check raised him. I mean, uh, How much more? What, what is Nick supposed more. to think? He's I mean, is there anything he can beat here, even though he's got top pair? He's got to lay this down or come over the top if he thinks that um, Andy's at it. But, I mean, why put your tournament online? Why not just pass? Put him down, Nick. Live to fight another day. It's a very tough lay down. It's a tough situation for him. It is tough. This would be a great pass, this will. I think he's thinking of coming over the top. Pass. Oh, good pass. That was a very good lay down. Mm. And uh, Andy Miles played the hook, the line, and the sinker. And has taken that pot straight on the flop. Andy Miles has taken over the chip lead and has the button, but this heat has the feeling of being ultra competitive. Uh, you were just saying, Anthony, uh, it's hard to pick a guy who, who you can't see winning right now. I mean, uh, these guys are all hard nuts. Pass. No surprise to see Beal fold. Action on Mattis. Pass. Mm. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's 14,000 chips, Jesse, between all, all six of them. Amazing. <coughs> cool. And uh, Purcell has pretty much been dictating the action so far, and now just limps in from the button, from the small blind, right. pardon me, with the pocket pair. Why play the hand like that? I don't know. If he raises, he gets Nathan off the hand, doesn't he? Now now, now he's allowing uh, Nathan to just make a few moves, Check. really. Check. Purcell will not want to hit his set. Five, yeah, five would be interesting. Thousand. Cold. And <laughs> he's going to take him off this hand. Put the nine high. Is, that, he's, is he calling the bluff yeah, on the river? Yeah, he's, he's going to take him off this hand. Is it a check here, Nick? Check. Wow, you saw this coming a mile 7, away, Anthony. And this is a very tough call for... Nick Perso, isn't it? He's got a pass, Jesse. I mean, the only thing he can beat.